So and today we have some more information about the sales figures of Modern Warfare 3. I did a video recently where we learned in the United Kingdom, Modern Warfare 3's sales were down 38% compared to what Modern Warfare 2 sales were the previous year, which is- I guess that's a shout out to my UK don't gamers! Go, go, go. What's up my taxing gamers? What's up my single chats? How we all doing? Because today the UK gamers finally woke up and they have stopped buying the sky is green bullshit. <laughs> what I'm saying and today we also have some crazy news as well like and subscribe if you're brand new and guys emergency meeting real quick okay yep we are doing it live right now okay that fast yeah that quick guys Activision is being forced to pay over 54 billion dollars god damn and it's not 54 billion it's actually 54 million that's a typo but this is happening in a settlement for a discrimination lawsuit and the lawsuit has been ongoing for like 2015 2020 it has been going on for almost a decade plus okay but we publicly figured this out and those things actually let everybody know i'm talking about the california lawsuit that happened and i believe we learned about it publicly all the way back in 2021 and the, the lawsuit did claim that you know they had cameras installed in their public bathroom yay that Bruh. that ass though activision employees they were trying to chase that coochie, okay? They were trying to chase that coochie. That ass, though. This kind of explains why we have these uh, kind of bundles, right? These BBC bundles and whatnot. They were actively uh, trying to chase that pom pom. They also were stealing baby milk. You know, some of the the chicks at Activision, they would have their breast milk in a bottle, right? For the kids, for the babies, though. Nothing wrong with that. That's how the universe works, apparently. That's how this world works, right? But Activision employees, they're like, okay, we gotta go in there. We gotta sell that as a microtransaction. So they were, yeah, they, they were stealing that. They were stealing that. It is mentioned under a lawsuit, okay? In a lawsuit, dead ass. And you know, there were uh, a lot of other weird stuff. And at the end, we figured out there was a Activision employee that actually took her own life. Oh, shit. Oh, because of all the mess that was happening at Activision, she was blackmailed as well. Some like were saying that they had pictures of her. Hey, you, you feel what I'm saying? So this has been ongoing for that long. And today, the judge ruled out that, you know what? They're gonna be paying about 50 million dollars. I mean, damn, bro. Like, y'all suck is crazy. Fi they make 50 million in half an hour by selling these friendly you and me online, bro. They can make that much money by selling these simple BBC bundles, though. Like, it should have been 1 billion. It should have. And anybody. Like, listen, bro. Like, come on, man. 46 million, uh, 46.75 million to female employees who claim they've received inequitable pay during this period. 9 million will cover the attorney fees. They, this and that. I mean, damn, bro. This. Listen, man. Anybody and everybody that smashes like button deserve to get a hundred dollars immediately. Smash a like button if you agree, guys. Not a good sign. Well, now we have all the information coming in from the United States. And also, I'm also gonna like unlike and smash a like button. Where's my hundred too, bro? States. Bruh. This will be coming from the NPD group. You guys may have heard about them before, but apparently they have rebranded themselves to Circana. Circana, don't make me pronounce things, man. I'm bad at that. <laughs> but regardless, we have the sales. Yeah, Nero Shinema. Nero Shinema. Figures, we have the stats. We know what happened in the United States when it comes oh to Call of Duty and the news is not really that good honestly wow. it's interesting right so Call of Duty itself is down this year compared to what's been in previous years which is interesting we talked about that a lot in my previous video I definitely think the whole perception of Modern Warfare 3 basically just being a big DLC was not exactly the best selling point for the game regardless of the fact that they fixed so many things about the game the mini map and dead silence and carry forward being a thing yeah, all those sure, things sure. are fantastic but in general I feel yeah. like the marketing and the buzz surrounding Modern Warfare 3 was was overwhelmingly negative and as such Modern Warfare 3 apparently is not doing nearly as good so let's just go ahead and jump into this here when it comes to the year 2023 Modern Warfare 3 is the second best-selling game in the United States which you may think that's yeah. not what? second best-selling game I mean damn right I mean come on man Activision is like, yo, bro, so we didn't make like two extra billion dog. Like, okay, time to make another another bundle, you know? Try and time to sell another microtransaction <laughs> and make another two billion. I mean, damn, bro, this company, I swear to God, bruh. If this was another company, like for example, Santa Monica Studio, they would have given free DLC. They would have given free DLC to their fans and y'all say this, are, are tr doing this, trying to reach for everybody wallets, bro. Get your way, Sada, here, bro. Get Not so on, bad, bro. right? Number two is pretty freaking good. Well, ever since 2010, 
This is the third time that's ever happened. And oh, the wow. other two times it happened was when Rockstar put out a massive game. Yeah, that's pretty RDR much it. Too. When GTA 5 came out in 2013, I think it was, then that was the number one selling game in America. Call of Duty was number two. And mm. then when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, that was the best selling game in America. To be honest, bro, they better not release the next Call of Duty at the same time as GTA 6. Obviously, we're figuring out that uh, there's gonna be a Call of Duty game. Yay! You guys didn't know? You guys didn't know? I mean, come on, man. There's another Call of Duty game coming out, guys. It has been leaked. In fact, I made a video yesterday on it. Black Ops 6 is leaked. It is happening. It is coming uh, in 2024. And admittedly, though, I'm like looking forward to it. Yeah, because I believe that that's... Yeah, we, I know. We say the same crap every single year. That next year is going to be better. Next year is going to be better. And it's never really better, though. But this time it's Treyarch. So I have a little bit of hope. And admittedly, this is probably going to be the last... Nah, for real. Dead ass, dead, I swear. Stop the cap. This is going to be the last time I give them the chance, okay? Because this is, it's, it's gonna be track and we're hearing that by the time it releases, it's gonna be four years of development time. So I'm willing to believe that it's gonna be a good Call of Duty game. Hopefully, at least that's a dream right now. That's a dream. It has to be because otherwise this franchise is so down right now. GTA 6 is gonna be coming out in 2025. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. And this goes for everybody across the industry. This is not just about Call of Duty. This goes for everybody. No one should release their game around the time GTA 6 comes out, at least for the two, three months, okay? And Call of Duty was number two. Other than that, every single year, Call of Duty has been number one. But this year, Hogwarts Legacy, which uh, people love that game, dude. It's freaking Harry Potter. Yeah, people are going to buy Hogwarts yeah, Legacy. Yeah, Apparently, yeah. it's killing it on the Switch right now. Regard yeah, the only people that didn't like was the day Day. Mm -mm, I'm not going to buy it because it hurt my little feelings. I love to be strong and independent. Those are the only people that boycotted the game and yeah we all know what happened with that this this is the third time ever since 2010 that call of duty was not the best-selling game which is interesting the sales figures are down really bad over there in the united kingdom and when it comes to the united states it's not even the best-selling game this year which is yeah, kind of crazy. crazy now when crazy. it comes to the month of november which of course is when modern warfare 3 came out we have some good information coming in regarding player engagement this is how many people are actually playing the game we have it for the xbox as well as as the PlayStation, as you guys can see, Call of Duty is number two in November. I mean, Damn. Hogwarts Legacy came out months and months and months ago, so... Dog, Fortnite is still killing it after all this time. I don't even blame the... I don't even blame the people playing the game. It's a really good game. Even I started playing it, guys. Even I started playing it, and it's a really fun game, though. I know some... some it's a game for kids. Guys, bro, bro, we are beyond that right now. We seriously, we are beyond that right now. Because if the game is fun, like think about it for a second, right? Why do we why do you play games? Why do I play games? Why do we play games? We wanna have fun, we just wanna chill out, right? Like simple as that. And if the game is fun, that's all that matters. And Fortnite is very, very fun. If you don't like it, if you hate it, if you were a guy like me that's like, nah, bro, Fortnite's not my thing. I don't wanna, it's not my thing, bro. Uh, I don't wanna play it. Guys, give it a chance. They also have racing. If you love races in GTA 5, you're gonna love racing in this game as well. Yeah, it has racing. It got Lego Fortnite. If you like Minecraft, I'm not a Minecraft guy, but they got Lego. It's kind of similar a little bit, maybe, or maybe, maybe not. Bruh. Maybe, maybe I, I mean, who? Uh, how do I know, right? Because I, never really played minecraft but it's actually extremely fun and then it got zero build or no build mode where you know suckers are making taj mahals they used to make taj mahals right now they're making like nasa they're making entire planets while playing the the, the fortnite game Bruh. okay that's like building but they also have zero build where there is no build it's simply third person battle royale uh it's and it also got the first person mode some guns have it but yeah oh, shit. it got first person mode especially if it has a reticle on it it's a very very fun game though gta fiber master well nah nah yep if it was at number one we wouldn't we wouldn't be getting gta 6 though so thank god it's at number five so as such, it's a story game. People are going to play it a bunch when it first comes out. They might play through it a couple of times, but typically a game like that does not have the staying power of online video games. Here between the Xbox and the PlayStation, the games are pretty much the same. You know, Fortnite's number one. Obviously, that's killing it. COD is pretty popular. GTA 5 online, especially with all the GTA 6 stuff being announced. Of course, we're going to be seeing a lot more people on GTA 5, but oh, then again, yeah. that game has always had a pretty massive player base. Then you have games like Madden, you have 2K, like all the usual suspects the are usual. here. 
here. Yeah. But going back to it, it is interesting that for the third when time. When you really think about it, like emergency meeting, emergency meeting. When you really think about it, most of the games, the, 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 like most people only play Call of Duty, GTA, Fortnite, the Maddens, the NBAs. Bruh. That's gaming right there. Uh, Minecraft as well, right? That's gaming in a nutshell. Nobody cares about I mean, yeah, people care, but in a bigger scale, nobody really cares about other games, which is genuinely sad, though. Like, these are the usual suspects. That's where everybody's at for the most part. I'm pretty much ever, Call of Duty was not the best selling game in the United States. Again, I really do think it goes back to the entire narrative, the entire perception that Modern Warfare 3 has. All the remastered maps, people thinking the game was supposed to be just a big DLC, and then they yep, give you a yep, full premium yep. title. The campaign being very short and not really Three that hours. good, but above all of that, it was shorter than. Christopher Judge BBC, damn it. Like, let's be real. Uh, Christopher Judge is the actor behind Kratos and God of War, and during Game Awards, he basically went on stage and roasted the hell out of Call of Duty by saying that my speech from last year was longer than this year's Call of Duty game. In other words, he meant to say that this year's Call of Duty campaign was shorter than his uh, BBC, you know, like this uh, friendly UAV online. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you guys talked about it in the comments in my previous video, and I definitely agree. I didn't discuss it as much in my videos as I probably should have, but I think we might be starting to see player fatigue when it comes to skill-based matchmaking. True, true. We've had it for years and years now. In fact, we're still waiting, aren't we? I forgot yep. about this till right now, but remember when Activision basically came out and they're like, skill-based matchmaking is real. It's something we've been working on for years and years and years, and we're oh. going to be talking about it more in depth oh, after Season 1 comes out. Well, Season 1's been here for a bit. Where's our skill-based matchmaking talk? We're still waiting on that, and I don't... Damn, I forgot, bro! Oh my god! Yay! Seconds for God, but Nero shit about guys. We need to be up Activision's ass right now, bro. Where is skill this match we can post? Talk about skill this. <laughs> Talk about skill this match we can post right now. We need to hear about it. People deserve to know the truth. We need to know what kind of bullshit. You actually put in that matchmaking, bro. We need to know. We gotta need. We need the answers, bro. We need the I think answers. They're gonna back out of it, but I'm wondering how long they're gonna drag their feet because they said they were going to discuss in detail everything about skill-based matchmaking, essentially. Yep. And we're definitely waiting for that. But I think we're looking at a situation here where fans, year after year, are getting tired of it. I think true. that's definitely true. I mean, the match I got in here, like the footage of this video, it's so weird. So skill-based matchmaking obviously is a thing. It can mess with your connection. Freaking pack at burst and all that stupid nonsense connect me the servers are forever away but the thing is like the people in my lobby weren't even all that good like i almost got a nuke in this lobby and i am oh, not damn. a nuke player you guys watch me play for crying out loud but like yeah. the people in the lobby were not that good but the connect yo call of shame be like nero shenma is just cheating <laughs> yeah and before we find out that uh nero shenma is like on uh or nero cinema not shenma uh nero cinema is actually on call of shame channel that would be an insane plot twist that that is gonna be top 10 anime betrayal that i genuinely am not ready for dog but I wanna see it! I wanna see something like that happens, guys. Action was so bad. You may be watching the video not. and thinking like, man, I, is something wrong with my phone? Is there something wrong with my monitor right now? It's like, no, the gameplay is just that skippy and that bad because of packet burst and all that stupid nonsense. In fact, I think I might be reaching out to Blame Truth here soon. We might be testing oh, out packet burst in a- What? Yo, no way! No way, I don't even know what a radar hack is. I didn't even know uh, they're gonna have a collab soon. Video, or at least trying it out, like having me join his BillyGo57 account because he says he never has packet bursts, he never has these connectivity issues, whereas I do, and it's really freaking frustrating, so we're gonna try to get to the bottom of that. But the gameplay, like, skill-based matchmaking, despite the fact that the people on the other team aren't that good, they still matched me, like, well far away from where they should have, and as such, my connection is horrible. But that's only one aspect of skill-based matchmaking. We have all the other aspects, which we've just discussed to death here on my channel we've all heard about it, we've all talked about it like i think fans are getting tired of that you know a brand new call you think fans are getting tired i mean come on bruh 
We've been tired, bro. We've been tired of being tired, damn it. Both of these can come out, and it has all the bells and whistles. You got the maps you want to play on, you want to re-level up, even though for some reason they still cap our levels, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. You know, you have the new guns to play with, you have the new mastery camos to go for, a new ranked season, if that's your thing. You might want to level up your guns for Warzone, if that's your thing. Like, there's always a lot of buzz and a lot of hype around the new COD, but after yeah. the honeymoon phase is over, and you've leveled up your guns a little bit... You Man, this is genuinely sad, right? Because what he's saying is the... Is the goddamn truth there's always a, a lot of hype whenever there's a new call of duty game coming out i, I remember especially going uh, in the back in the days right when black ops 1 came out black ops 2 modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 hell even black ops 3 man the hype was through the roof though you know i was in school i was in high school and you know me and my friends we would talk about it we would discuss about the trailers uh we would i, I feel like that nowadays seconds are discussing about the gt6 trailer and rightfully so the trailer has so much ass so much i mean it's get theft auto and forget about all the bundas bundas aside right the game is uh, looking amazing it's gta 6 so sickers are talking about it but the point that i'm trying to make here is that back in the days we would actually discuss like this about call of duty man that is genuinely sad because i'm not seeing the same level of hype for call of duty this time around and, and right now it just feels like that the game is dead though like seriously like nobody's really talking about it feels like i mean sales are down as well like he mentioned and like uh you know the the statist uh like the statistics says the sales are extremely down as well G genuinely said i mean jokes and memes aside it's i i hope the next call of duty bangs bro like i want to see a good game experience the game a little bit I think for a lot of people, skill-based matchmaking just turns them away from the game. They're just like, you know, I just, I don't feel like playing. And I talked about that in my previous videos. Like, I'm a YouTuber. I have all the time in the world to play COD. That's kind of yeah. the benefit. Like, I can play a lot of video games. I'm a YouTuber, right? But if I was, like, back play, right? doing my job before I started doing YouTube, I used to unload trucks at Walmart. Okay. You know, I'd get off at, like, 11 o'clock at night or whatever, you know, eight-hour shift, whatever it might be. After doing that, I don't think I would want to come home and then, like, deal with skill-based matchmaking. Like, it was the job may be you might work an office job you might yeah it would feel like working another job but you're not getting paid for it essentially but i, I feel him i feel him but for the past three weeks almost i've been playing black ops cold war nuketown 24 7 playlist and let me tell you bro it, it, it is fun. It is extremely fun. I've been playing it. Uh, I, and I do believe the skill-based matchmaking has been reduced in the past Call of Duty game uh, because, or maybe there aren't that many sweats because playing Modern Warfare 3, I can only assume. I don't have it, but I can only assume based on the past uh, past history, right? It feels like a job. It feels like a job. Sick as I'm playing this game like their life depends on it though. And Black Ops Cold War has been a fre uh, breath of fresh air because I'm playing number one without any sound. Without no sound, no game audio, I'm listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos in the background, and just chilling out, relaxing, sometimes even reclining the chair. I mean, whoa, that's an unheard of, uh, that, that's unheard of, that's, a, that's an alien concept, right? Because when you're playing Call of Duty, you need to be completely inside the game like that, dog. You need to be completely in the game, in your monitor, you, like, forget about everything, okay? You need to be glued to your monitor and just no life and play like your life depends on it. I mean, that's not fun, bro. That you have a rank mode for that. Sometimes I want to do that, but not every single day, bruh. Like and subscribe if you agree, bro. Freaking drive for a living, whatever it is you do, like, after, like, a long day at work or whatever, I can't imagine wanting to do all that and then go home and deal with skill-based matchmaking for a couple of hours and then yeah. go to bed and get back up and go back to work and like deal with it again. Like back when, like, what made me fall in love with COD was it was relaxing. And I will say this match right True. here was, it was relaxing and engaging because I genuinely thought I might get a nuke and then I didn't because I suck. But you know, that part was exhilarating, but I haven't gone on a streak like that in forever because skill-based matchmaking is always happening. Like, yeah. you know, I'm just happy if I go positive anymore more and if we can and, and i've gotten like a tech chopper in black ops cold war multiple times guys i, I know it's a tech chopper. i mean what's the big deal right it's just an attack chopper but the point that i'm trying to make here is that dog i haven't gotten like a seven eight kill streak in a long ass time in call of duty thanks to school dismatching and of course because if you're a decent player or and good player you're having a tough time playing this game now i'm not claiming like i'm like like the best player i'm like decent i'm i'm an okay player okay but 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 i'm not the best i'm not the worst right and for players like me and for players that are actually good this game is living heal 
it's a nightmare to play this game, bro. It feels like a job, but you're not gonna get paid. It's like your second job, but you're not getting paid for it. That's how it feels like, and I hope they fix this, bro. I really hope the next game is good. I wanna see Call of Duty succeed. Yeah, we have, we love, I love having memes. I love seeing some drama, but it's tiring every single day. You feel what I'm saying? It's tiring to hear about it every single day, but we have some good news about GTA 6. Click on this video on the screen. We have gameplay leaks. We got trailer number two information, trailer breakdown, a lot of that in this video. Check this out. On the left, though, that's another drama. See what I'm talking about? I don't like I like it, but I don't like it every day. But guess what? That's what we we're having. Check both of these videos out, and I'll see you right